Welcome back to the Real Birdie channel. So I'm going to talk about the Braxtons for a little bit. Um, I had did reviews on them before. And this is, they're on their seventh season. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do <clears throat> keep doing them because it is getting a little old. And I think a lot of people are saying that. But um, so I'm just going to do episode one and two together and the first episode was the bachelorette party and that thing i had never seen well first of all i never been to a strip club never been to a bachelorette party so um it's a lot i haven't seen yet and what they showed on that episode you guys have to see it for yourself because it was just basically that's all the episode was about was the bachelorette party. Them guys was in there. Just butt naked. And Tawanda was the one that planned the whole thing. So it was. Um, private part everything. Private part cupcakes. Mints. Real private parts. Because the guys. just, just They were just butt naked. No shame. Doing things to. Grapefruits and. This, that, and the other. Um, Tracy said she had a good time. Now, Tracy is still in her feelings about what happened last season at Napa when she was going off on everybody. But, um, honestly, I don't blame her the way that they treat they, they seem to treat her. Like she said on the second episode, a sister cousin. And I looked at the credits. You see Tony, Trina... Tamar and Tawanda, all executive producers, while Tracy's a co-producer with her mother. So I think that's that's messed up right there. And I think they used to call Tracy the, um, what did they used to call Tracy? The wild card. The wild card. I think they still call her the wild card. That's kind of messed, that's messed up, y'all. That's messed up. So she was still in her feelings and she was, um, she met up with Tawanda, you know, basically to tell her that she was still in her feelings and, and might I add she was looking really good in them leather pants she was looking good she looking good lately she looking real good lately and you know talking to her husband about you know the way that they treat her which I kind of like you know nobody listens like they just kind of sweep it under the rug type of thing I kind of think that's how black folks are in their families, they just, just, I don't know, they just don't, don't, um, resolve things, that's what I want to say, but the beginning of that episode is when they had Tamar rushing, um, they had talked about Tamar committing suicide, and basically they were just saying if they, if she needs them, let her know, and that, um, for anybody else that needs help, get help so yeah we still have to figure out what's going on with that so yeah you have to see the first episode to see what I'm talking about so second episode was stumble to the altar I believe that's what it's called and apparently Trina planned the whole thing which I thought was crazy I'm like this girl got restaurants and and wine was well, she she sell wine I don't know but she got businesses but um this is her third wedding and she tried to get two cakes and they tried to be a peacock and it looked terrible looked like a duck and the second cake that came arrived all broken up with the duck's head all on the table and the man kind of looked like a little kid so people I was kind of thinking it too like people were saying that man know he broke that cake he tried to blame it on the other people, and I was like, yeah, 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 he probably did, but the cake looked horrible, and to me, I kind of think it was just a, a scripted part that they did, maybe she didn't know about it, but the producers knew about it, you know, type of thing, and Tony and Tamar had to go save her, find his bakery, to, he said it takes a month to bake the cake, but... They needed 16 hours, which he charged her $2,800, which I didn't think was too bad at all. Man, that is Tony Braxton, and it was on Wee TV. He could have really charged more for that. So they basically just did a, a regular 
um, three or four tier cake. I believe that's what it was. But um, Trina was, she tried to say she's not being a bridezilla, but she's kind of going off on her man a little bit. Everybody think he look like the Allstate guy. I don't see it. He do not look like Dennis Haysbert. Anyway, everybody's drooling over her sons. Well, at least one of them. I know my daughter was looking at his sons. And um, daddy acting crazy. That daddy around there dancing and, and acting a fool. And um, Trina, she don't know what she's doing with the re wedding rehearsal. And Logan didn't show up. And tape a tw um, yeah. And the brother didn't show up. Mikey, I don't know. I don't want to say nothing about bad about Mikey, but I be looking at Mikey kind of funny. Um, <laughs> so, um, so they had a slumber party, and um, what was that dance that Tony was doing? Because I don't even know. The floss. The floss. I guess she did it accurately. Um, so. Tamar trying to act all holy, talking about tr throwing water on um, Tawanda, talking about that party was terrible, and everybody like, yeah, whatever. Like, you know, she's so holy. But anyway, so everybody thinks Tamar is so funny, and she should be a comedian. Um, let's see what else happened. Yeah, she was yelling at the man, talking about, um, he said, you gonna have an attitude tomorrow on a wedding day? And she said, your baby daddy going to have an attitude. I don't know what that meant. Your baby daddy going to have an attitude. And then they set Miss Wanda at the table with uh, Miss uh, Miss Evelyn Braxton. Now, Miss Evelyn was looking good. Now, the other woman was looking sour faced. Like, I don't know why she was looking upset. And so, Miss Evelyn was like, I don't think I'm sitting at the right table. Tawanda like, y'all got her at the wrong table. So, they had to move her. And she was like, in a confessional, I got the victory. She just looked like so sad. She looked like something was wrong with her. Yeah. So, everybody keep telling Miss Braxton to get over that issue. But that would be very hard if your husband was a pastor and that he was your first love. And that was your friend in a church and they hooked up and you now you by yourself even though she don't have to be by herself I don't see why she by herself but um that's something hard to get over I would think and they you know they say that um she passed her bitterness on to her daughters which it may be true you know um that's why they may have to see Eola again who knows especially Tamar um so they go out to get married uh, apparently Tony came in this I don't know I don't even, still don't even know what the outfit was it was real sexy she had these boots on all the other sisters were dressed nicely and Tony had the idea to hold the train um, while the daddy tried to walk her down the aisle and then the, um, Tracy then knocked her over the plant so yeah that's where it ended so I'm not sure if I want to read few of these you know they're kind of you know I've been watching them since the beginning so we'll see y'all so if y'all saw the braxton's these episodes one and two let me know don't forget to like comment and subscribe i will see you guys next time